So what is good guys Atnan here and have you ever heard about the Pixel Experience Plus ROM? No, not the usual Pixel Experience, the Plus. So what exactly is so plus about this ROM? If you're expecting a whole bunch of crazy features with a dedicated customization tab within the ROM, then you're mistaken. The Pixel Experience Plus ROM is everything the existing Pixel Experience is, but with a generous few features thrown in. Now before you stop watching this video, let me tell you, every single addition that this ROM has over the original is in my opinion what makes it a much better package. Talking about the few features, I really dig the fact that you can choose a system wide dark mode and even go further with a true AMOLED black instead of the dark grey tint that most ROMs use. This dark mode also spreads to the notifications, your app drawer, the Google feed to the left and the majority of the built-in Google Apps as well. As a plus point, you also get to choose an accent color out of a list of 10. This little tweak gives so much more personalization to your device and I really think this should be a mandatory addition to all custom ROMs out there. There is also a built-in sound enhancer which you can find in the sounds tab and it does help in punching the bass or treble to just the right amounts. The ROM comes with an auto face unlock feature as well which uses the Google smart lock and triggers the unlock automatically at the lock screen. This is a great feature to those phones without a fingerprint scanner or worse a slower one. If you dive deep enough into the system settings you gain access to all of your button customization. You can choose to use either the on screen buttons or use your hardware ones, swap the recents and back buttons with a simple toggle and even use the pill navigation if you really want some gestures in your experience. You can go ahead and customize the grid size of your quick settings panel if you like having a lot of toggles in a single space up top as well. Disabling or enabling specific icons from the status bar is also pretty simple and can be found within the same tab. A feature that I really found intriguing is being able to swipe with three fingers to grab a screenshot anywhere. It's not the gesture itself that amazes me but the options you get after you grab a screenshot. I'm pretty sure this was ripped out of OnePlus's Oxygen OS since it has the same exact layout and you can even take extended screenshots natively. Now that is a real plus feature to have. Lastly for OnePlus specific devices you do get the alert slider options where you have the liberty of choosing which position triggers what action and even disable haptic feedback if you so choose to. Switching gears a little, I would like to talk about how the ROM actually performs. It's a good thing to note that I did flash it on my 4 year old OnePlus 2 and this phone doesn't really have a good reputation for running smoothly. So any lag or stutters that you notice is just the phone and not the actual ROM. As far as performance goes, I did use the traditional Pixel Experience non-plus ROM for quite a while on my OnePlus 5 and it was the third best performing ROM right behind Oxygen OS and Lineage OS. Although based on the various XDA forum replies I've read, Pixel Experience Plus is just as good as the original and I too was able to get things done pretty instantly without any big time force closes or stutters. Again, the lag that you see in the video is the phone and not the ROM. I did play a few games although not graphically demanding at all given my phone's age and it ran all well. Overall Pixel Experience Plus should be no slouch when it comes to performance. Another aspect that I've started to drop off in my ROM reviews recently is battery life, screen on times to be more specific. Because every phone is different and reviewing one custom ROM for all is quite challenging. My OnePlus 5 got exceptional screen on times with the same ROM, averaging me over 5 hours, while the OnePlus 2 is, well just about how you would expect a 4 year old phone to be. Instead, the way I will be expressing the battery performances of ROMs from here on is by simply talking about the consistency. Pixel Experience Plus gave me consistent screen on times and generally pretty good backup as well. Your mileage will vary as it should from device to device and users have had excellent backup with the ROM over the XDA forum threads that I've read. OnePlus users will also have the upper hand in terms of battery thanks to the support for dash charge in this ROM. All in all, if you're switching from your stock ROM to Pixel Experience Plus, you should expect just as good battery life, if not better. With all the talk about the technicalities out of the way, how good was my time spent with this ROM? How was my experience? 
In a nutshell, I feel way closer to home with using Pixel Experience Plus over the original, simply because the few options it has really supplement the entire experience. You get all of the Google goodies with a clean stock layout, a fast UI and overall a very Pixel-like experience. For those who like having the extra trick up their sleeves, the ROM also boasts quite a lot of features as I mentioned prior. Everything from the dark mode to the Google Live wallpapers make even a 4 year old phone seem way more usable and fun than it is. I can only imagine this having loaded up on a 2019 budget phone with faster internals and much better battery backup. Bottom line is, I've used Pixel Experience before and it always amazes me to see just how simple it is for anyone to have the experience of owning a Google Mate smartphone for free. That's been it, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.